This is Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? First and foremost, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And I give double honor to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutation to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is your brother Makaza from a trend camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be Understanding Why. Alright? And what I mean by understanding why? Understanding why you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are in the position that you are in right now. Why does it seem like, you know, you can never prosper or for the mass majority of us we're not prospering all right why we always at the end of the economic you know train and like it had the food train we are the end of the economic train we are the we are the bottom all right you know we always as a people we always oppressed we we were we are we were enslaved all right and we seem to be hated amongst all nations as the scripture says, we are we are the offscoring of all people. Alright? So through the scriptures, the scriptures answer everything. It has the answer for everything. So therefore, our identity, according to the scriptures, are the tribes of Israel. We are the chosen people. Alright? We are the true Jews, the true Israelites of the Bible. Alright? People like to identify the so-called white man. Or you so-called Jewish people as the people of the Mosai, which they are not. They basically just took that identity onto themselves. They took our identity. They took our heritage. All right. But the true people, the true people of the Mosai, are the ones that are being oppressed, the ones that are in slavery, unto this day. All right. And as I just read in Jeremiah two and fourteen, it says, "Is Israeli servant is he a homeborn slave?" Because we're not supposed to, as the scripture said in Jeremiah 49, I believe it's verse 12. It says, they whose judgment were not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. We weren't ever supposed to go into slavery. All right. We are the princes of the earth pursuing to our name. Yah, Shah, Allah. Yah, He, Shah, Prince, Allah, God. We are prince of princes of God. All right. One definition for prince is what? A ruler or a son of a king and the most high being the king we are his sons first john chapter 3 and 3 all right beloved now are ye the sons of the most high but it doth not yet appear what we shall be we are the sons of the most high so as sons of the most high why are we to be the least of all people the reason we in this position right now is because we sinned against the lord and that is basically that is that is that is basically how it how it goes. We sinned against the Lord Yahaba Shimeo Shai. Therefore, we we were cast down as a people. This is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved Yahweh to Rat, you were delivered unto the enemies. As the scripture says, Israel. Let me see if I could find that real quick. This is um Hosea. I believe it's Hosea 8 and 3. Alright. Hosea 8 verse 3. It says, Israel had cast off the thing that is good. The enemy shall pursue him. So because pursuing to Baruch 4, because we forsook the commandments of Yahaba Shemiao Shai, Deuteronomy chapter 33, I believe it's verse 15. It says, Jeshron waxed fat and kicked. And also in Job it says, We are lords, we will come no more unto thee. We rebel against the Lord Yahabah Hashem Shai. Therefore, he took away that hedge. He took away that, that blessing that he gave us and allowed the enemy to come in and, and, and basically to, you know, to, to, to take us down. All right. David said, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 5. It says, O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. So basically, the nations, beginning with Esau, is the Lord's whipping stick for Israel. When we go out of hand, the Lord, Yahaba Hashem, Yahushai, will use the nations to get us back in check. That is why the scripture says, in their affliction, they will seek him early. All right? It's like you have a child, right? You have a child, that child being rebellious, being disrespectful, don't want to listen. 
a good ass whooping we got our child back in order and now they're gonna remember the words of their father and, and and you know do their best to stay in check and that is what the lord does all right that is what the lord does and there's the reason we were cast down as a people not for our destruction I'll read it back in Baruch. This is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 6. You were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because he moved your Yahweh to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. All right? Because, you know, they thought that the Lord, the Lord cast us off, so then therefore, you know, that's, that's it. The Lord, he wouldn't have any dealings with us anymore. But that is not the case. All right? The Lord said he would have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So the Lord, even right now, the Lord having mercy on us. That is why he gave us back his name and his son's name. We could call, as the scriptures say, say Abba Father. We call upon the name Yahaba Hashem Shai because the Lord is about to make his second appearance and deliver the tribes of Israel. All right? But the reason we ended up here is because we sinned against the Lord. All right? This is Baruch chapter 2 and verse 4. It says, Moreover, he had delivered them to be in subjection, to all the kingdoms that are round about us to be a reproach and desolation among all people round about where Yahaba Hashem Yashad scattered them and we see we all over all the all the, amongst all nations around the world because the Lord scattered us that's why he said we shall be few among the Gentiles we have a little here we have a little there we have a little everywhere all right it says, thus we were cast down and not exalted. We were supposed to be the top of all nations. All right? The scripture said, I am for you. It says, because we have sinned against Yahaba Shemel Shah, our God, and have not been obedient unto his voice. And there's the reason we were cast down. We forsook the commandments of the Lord Yahaba Shemel Shai. That is why you could never prosper. As the scripture said, you have... Um, sown many but brought in little and he that earned it wages to put in a, a, a um basically a bag with holes you know you laboring you grinding you you might put in extra hours you say all right you know what I'm gonna make an extra thousand or more pay and then when you get the pay two days after you have no money because guess what the idea to you know to, to labor to bring in more was basically just so that you could pay the bills so you could never actually save up money. You could never have, as to say, enough. You always have just the right amount just to live. You could never have just like, like Esau. Esau could go on a year-long vacation. Jake might be lucky if they even could go on one day vacation. All right? That is just the situation that we're in. And all this is just because we sinned against the Lord. We're paying for our sins among the nations. For what we did towards Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. That is the reason we in this situation. As the scripture says, you shall um, you shall be cursed coming in and cursed going out. Alright? It's poverty. Poverty. And you, you might say, well, alright. Well, guess what? A, lo a lot of the things that, you know, we're going through is, you know, the nations oppressing us. Yes. The Lord used the nations to oppress us. That is why he said he would command the curses. He commanded the curses. He giving the nations the ability to oppress you so that you will be under the curses because you sinned. You think the curses is something mystical and magical and like, wow, it's like fairy dust. No, the Lord using these nations, they are his servants too. The Lord called Cyrus his servant. They are his servants too. The Lord using them to bring about the punishment. All right? That is why we oppress as a people right because of our sins is deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 it says but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of yahabah shimeon shai thy god to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which i command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee it says curse shall thou be in the city and curse shall thou be in the field no matter where you go it's like you just can't make that is why i see some men will actually run out on their families because you know they 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 fighting too much to take care of the children and they're like they can't see about themselves some women do the same thing it, even that is one of the curses you know a man making children and run out and leave them a woman will hate her own children 
the description say you go hate your own brother and we, uh, we have something we call black on black crime we see in america where the Nate, um where the you know the, the hispanics they they have hatred towards you know the the, the negroes even down here in trinidad you see you, we have venezuelans here and venezuelans you know for the most part they don't really deal up with us i remember talking to you know to one venezuelan woman and what she said she said that you know in her country she don't like black people all right she don't she don't deal up with black people all right and that's just the curses the lord put them curses to separate us for us to be weak and so we will have no strength in our hands all right verse 17 it says curse shall be thy basket and thy store all right you open up a business and you, for some reason your business just can't flourish that is why i see a lot of jake when they make it because why they join these you know these secret societies you know a lot of them bend over for for benefits from the so-called white man all right you know they, they they take it up the way all right they sell the soul for riches all right that is where they that is what we have to do in esau's kingdom just to, just to, just to, you know, so somewhat say that you have wealth. You see a lot of men wearing dresses because why? They're selling out. All right? This is, as the scripture said in Micah 2 and 10, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is not the place the Lord sent you to, to, to live good. A lot of people have this saying, when we'll give you lemons, make lemonade. The Lord never sent us here to make lemonade. He sent us here to suck on those lemons and to, to think upon that bitterness. To think upon that bitterness so that we know, hey, I don't want those lemons again. All right? This is verse 43. It says, The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee, shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. And we've seen that. Who is the lowest among all the nations? Us. Imagine, you know, these, these rat-eating bastards, they could leave from way over in the east and come over on this side and live way better than you, all right? Live more comfortable than you because, why? Because the, the nations, all right, they, they have that treaty with, with each other where they will actually help each other to, to, to build up, all right? But not Jake, we don't have that. All right, so you could see the you know the the the, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese, they will come from from poverty and come even the Syrians, they leave from over there, they come over here and they make it good, they be living good, because they know that the curses, they don't have nobody there to oppress them. All right, now you might say, ah, so it's all about you know in 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 the east where you know the so-called white man he. He bombing Iraq and trying to go in Iran. Well, guess what? That is to fulfill prophecy. That also has its part. That is to fulfill prophecy. All right? Where that will actually usher in World War Three. All right? Then the scripture said, Rejoice not thou whole Palestina, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. That is to fulfill prophecy. All right? But for the most part, those nations, they, they, they're not... They're not you know under under trouble like us they're not oppressed like us all right verse 44 deuteronomy 28 and 44 he says he shall lend thee and thou shall not lend to him they own the banks it says um he shall be the head and thou shall be the tail which we see in it says moreover all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou um, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahabai Shimei and Shai thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he command thee. It says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. A sign and a wonder to identify who the chosen people are. Now we see these people living in the land of Israel. They're not being oppressed. They're living good. For the most part, they're the ones running the world, all right? They're running the media. They, 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 they own, basically, I remember years ago, it was said that they owned about 83% of the whole world. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So how could they be the people of the Lord when they're not oppressed? All right? The curses don't fall upon them. All right? It says, verse 47, it says, Because thou servest not Yahabah, Shemel, Shai, thy God, with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, 
for the abundance of all things. It says, Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which Yahabah Hashem Yashai shall send against thee in hunger. We go to them for food. All right? They import the food and, we, and they sell it to us. Our own bread is sell unto us. All right? It says, And in thirst and in nakedness, we everything we get, we get them from us. A lot of these members say, All right, well, I plant my own crops. But guess what? To, to plant the crop to begin with, to, to have a feed where you get it from. All right? It says, And in want of all things. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck till he destroy thee. Now, he did put that yoke of iron upon our necks in slavery. But now it's, it's mentally. Alright? Because we in need of him and have want of all things. That is actually a yoke. Because by this means, he could usher in Revelation chapter 13 and 16. Where you won't be able to buy or sell except... You follow along with his system. You worship that image of the beast. Alright? So he still had a yoke upon a lot of our people's necks. Alright? But the Lord pursuing to um, Isaiah chapter 4. No, J Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 8. He said he would take the yoke off of our necks. The Lord, Yahabah, Shemir, Shai, coming to do that. So then therefore we wouldn't be dependent on our enemies anymore. Alright? This is verse 68. It says, And Yahabah Shemir Shai shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there shall ye be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Nobody is going to be able to save you from the slavery that we, we entered into. All right? And that only happened unto us. The Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. We are the people of the Bible. And the reason that we ended up in these low conditions is because we sinned against Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. That is why the scripture said, You only have I known, therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. He gave his laws unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any other nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. So because he gave his words and his judgments and his statutes unto us, is only us could sin. He says sin is a transgression of the law. So because we had the laws and we sinned, therefore we are the ones that punish the servant that know gonna receive more stripes than the servant that didn't know. Then the scripture say that this is the reason why we are the least of all people. This is the reason why we are the least of all people. We are the bottom, we are the tail, we are the end because we sinned against the Lord. Now, in church, they tell you that the law is done away with. If the law is done away with, why are we still in captivity? All right? Why are we still in captivity? This is um, Lamentation 1 and verse 17. It says, Zion spread forth her hands, and there is none to comfort her. That is why we people always, you know, protesting. We want better. Better ain't gonna come. No man shall buy thee. It says, Yahabah Shemiah had commanded concerning Jacob that his adversaries should be wrong about him. Jerusalem is as a menstruous woman among them. And a menstruous woman in, in the ancient days, they would have been put aside for uncleanness. So you wouldn't deal with them because they're unclean. And that is how the nation's looking at us. Oh, these niggas, I hate these niggas. Don't, don't, don't ever marry a nigger. If you marry a nigger, I take, my, take you off my will. They, you know, they have that hatred and that disdain for us. All right? They say all that city shall wag the head. All right? Because why? Because the Lord put them curses upon us. You now, if you ask these nations, you know why they hate us? Oh, we black. We head nappy. This, so, all right, so we black and we head nappy. That is why you hate us? Nah. They don't understand the spiritual side of it. The spiritual side is the Lord, Yahabah, Shimei, Shai, put them curses on us. And they know, they're just trying to understand why they hate us. So they're looking for reasons to hate us. Which really and truly, majority of their hate stems off of envy because they want to be us. They know who we are. They want to be us. All right, our women look better than them. You know, for the, for the most part, we the, the male appendage, all right? 
way bigger than theirs it all stems off of envy all right a lot of these nations their women have flat ass all right why you think they, they're now doing this thing brazilian butt lift because why because they want to be our people just like esau was so fascinated off of sarah batman they 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 they, they, they turn her her body into a statue basically so that they could keep viewing it all right because why they're so fascinated about the i think i think it's the corset i think it's the corset in in the in the in the eighteen hundreds, where these women used to wear, where they would actually have on a dress to make them look like they have this big ass. All right, that is actually to imitate Jacob women. They want to be us, but they can't. So because they can't, their desire to be us turned into envy because they want to be us. All right, but they don't understand it. All right. But the Lord bringing understanding unto us. Alright? The Lord bringing understanding unto us. That is why we out here in these last days prophesying in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because the Lord is bringing mercy back to us. Alright? The Lord is about ready to deliver us. And the curses as the scripture says in Revelation. I believe it is Revelation chapter 21. It says there were no more curse. At a Revelation 21 or 22. There were no more curse. Because the Lord is going to take these curses off of us. All right, and we ain't gonna be no oppressed anymore. The script. Let me read this real quick. Um, this is Nahum one verse nine. It says, "What do you imagine against Yahaba Hashem Yahushai? Because these nations think they're gonna rule forever. They're gonna they're gonna keep us in slavery forever. So why you why did he don't rage and the nations imagine a vain thing? It says he will make an utter end. He gonna make an utter end of you." It says, affliction shall not rise up the second time. We're not going to go into slavery a second time. This is our last slavery. All right? Logan and wipe away all tears from our eyes. And pursuing to Isaiah 35 and 10, he's going to give us everlasting joy. We're going to have all eternity to enjoy the whole kingdom, which is made for us. All right? The whole kingdom is going to be made for us. All right this is isaiah chapter 45 and um, not 45 isaiah 42 and verse um, 24 it says who gave jacob for a spoil and israel to the robbers did not yahaba shimiel shai he against whom we have sinned for they would not walk in his ways neither were they obedient unto his law you think you came against us and conquered us because you were strong now nah, the lord gave us into your hands therefore he had poured upon uh, upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle and it had set him on fire on the boat yet he knew not yet he knew not <laughs> so all people in this position right now and they don't know why they were pressed it is the reason why we're doing these lessons to tell you why it happened to give you understanding why you are oppressed because why the lord is afflicting you as i said yet he knew not as the scripture said in second ezra that we will receive punishment and not know where of you gain licks and don't know why you gain oppressed and want to know why you your children dying left to right hunger poverty sufferings mass deaths within the so-called black community and you want to know why guess what now you understand then why because we sinned against Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. Alright? It says, Yet he knew not, and it burned him. Yet he laid it not to heart. He didn't lay it to heart because he didn't know. The scripture said, The shepherds pitied him not. They don't teach you anything in churches. But now the Lord giving you, pursuant to Jeremiah 3 and 14, giving you pastors according to his heart that would feed you knowledge and understanding. Alright? But we ain't gonna be in this low position for longer. Because the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahushai coming to deliver us. Deliverance is, is at hand. Salvation is at hand. Alright. This is Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 4. It says, In those days and in that time, said Yahaba Hashem Yahushai, the children of Israel shall come. They and the children of Judah together, and we in those days, going and weeping, they shall go and seek Yahaba Hashem Yahushai, their God. And they shall ask the way to Zion with their face to the words. They ain't going to look back. They ain't going to want this kingdom that we're in right now. 
And he's talking about the elect, all right? The one third of Yahaba Hashem Shai, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to Yahweh in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. All right? A, co a covenant that's not going to be forgotten because the Lord Yahweh Hashem is going to have mercy upon us forever. All right? This is um, verse. 20 it says in those days and in that time said Yahaba Hashem Shai, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for and there shall be none and the sins of Judah and they shall not be found for I will pardon them whom I reserve so the Lord through his son Yahweh Shai forgiven our sins and there's a reason he buying us back he taking us back as a nation and he gonna send his son to deliver us and these are the days we're waiting on all right these are the days we're waiting on for the salvation of israel as the scripture said lord how long holy and just as thou not avenge our blood all right the lord coming to avenge the blood of his elect and his anointed and deliver them and as the scripture says and we shall be forevermore be with the lord all right so with that i want to give all praises honor and glory to haba shimel shai I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and to rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole flan saying, Say, Lek. This is Brother Makaza from a train that camp saying, Shalawam and stay strong. I hope this video was edifying. Shalawam. <laughs>